All right, a little session recap here for you with an elite junior. This player is committed to a Division I school in the 2025 class. And so the player came in after playing in a big AJGA event and was complaining of pulls and thin strikes and not making a whole lot of ground contact. So let's start with the video on the left. And what we're going to notice at address is that the upper mass is, is already leaning kind of towards the target. When the upper mass is leaning towards the target, you're likely going to see a counter movement on the downswing. So nothing crazy in the backswing except for at the top position here, we can see the hips are starting to slide a little bit towards the target. And so the spine is kind of getting pointed a little bit towards the left foot, maybe a touch too much to where it's going to be likely that the upper mass is going to hang back. And when I say upper mass, I'm really talking about from the hips up to the head or the chest. So as we go down, you can see the hips kind of start sliding excessively. So as, as these hips start sliding towards the target, you can see that the head is kind of moving to the, to the trail side or to her right. And that's going to be a problem for having a steep enough angle of attack to where she'd be able to hit the ground late. So we keep on going. And then here's where the thins come from. So when we get to impact, you can see the contact really is already, um, already happening to where she's already basically made contact with the ground. So what we're going to see in the next frame is the club head now passes the handle, which means there's going to be your thins potentially, and there's going to be your lefts because as the, as the club head passes the hands, that is going to close the face. Um, but pay attention because the hips are outside the box. The hips have moved, but the head has moved to the trail side. And then the spine is like this. So you can tell this player all day to try to, you know, hit the ground later. If they get in this position, then likely it's going to be very difficult. So let me clean that up. We'll go back a couple frames to impact. So let's transition to this video on the right. So here we are doing a drill. Um, again, I, I'm very, very big on creating an environment that's going to force the movement that we want. So here we have a couple things. One, we have a we have a Titleist bag right here between her feet. That's really to kill some of this um, trail leg movement where it's sliding excessively. Uh, we have a towel right here, which is really to create a visual plus an, an objectively um, in the way a training aid that's going to force her angle of attack steeper. And we're going to be doing a step drill toward the target, which really the intent there is to get her upper mass, you know, moving. So when you're doing a drill like this, I've actually posted a video that I will link to this video. You're going to start you're going to start moving towards the target kind of when your lead arm gets to parallel. You can see she starts stepping about there. Now, what the cue is, is not only to step, but to see that upper mass start moving towards the target. As the upper mass is moving towards the target, she's going to have plenty of shaft lean at impact. So now you can see that if we look at these two comparisons, the head is now left of the box or towards the target. The hips are definitely more left, but that's not really the intent. And then when there's a ton of shaft lean. I mean, you can see the difference here of where her hands are here versus you can see they're kind of on the right hip or the trail hip versus now they're right in the middle of the body, which is where I would prefer. So in summary, if you're someone who feels like they hit a lot of thin shots, a lot of pulls, launch it very high. When I do hit the ground, I hit it fat. Doing a drill like this on the right is going to encourage the movement that you want Another thing that's kind of of interest here is her left side is completely in line, where if we go here, you can see that the upper mass is still hanging back. That was one other thing I wanted to mention. So just make sure that you're doing things that encourage the things that are going to clean it up. Just sitting there and hitting balls with the intent can be fairly useless. Um, but when you, when you create an environment, you know, with the towel, with the bag, with the drill, that's likely going to move much, much faster than you just having an intent of, well, I'm going to try to do these things. Have the internal intent, but then create an external environment that is going to encourage exactly what you're trying to do in your head. Hope that helps. Subscribe for more tips. Leave a comment if you'd like.